Okay. Oh, well, I'm gonna uh, try to explain, uh, translate, what I said in my, uh, the original language of the Lakota. You know, those of you that don't understand it, you know, um, I was talking about this coronavirus, uh, the corona government, uh, the corona money, and the corona fear, and the corona medicine, you know. To us, that's another BC that we pass through here again, see. So we got a lot of BCs, you know. We, you have before Christ, well, we got that too. And another BC for us is before Columbus, and it comes all the way down, and you know, before commodities, and before uh, 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 Kevin Costler, and before the casino, and now it's uh, before the coronavirus, another BC, like that. But anyway, I'm talking here about how it affects the Lakota and Dakota and Lakota people, and as well as other. Uh, indigenous nations and the citizens of uh, the United States, you know, how it affects, you know. Uh, if this is a top, it's supposed to be from the, what I gathered and heard on the news, uh, it's a virus that escaped from uh, Guam, this is China. And now that I hear all over the news that that's supposed to be a top military virus that somehow escaped outside, you know, and we got it all. So here we are, and uh, and it's not lethal as we all expected, you know, because uh, and the media they're not giving us the accurate numbers and accurate report. The media is controlled by the government and the corporations, so they cannot tell the truth. All they do is want to sell a story. You know, so, uh, there's a competition in the media. That is why we cannot get nothing uh, really truth out of them like that. So, you know, many of these reports they claim later on, we found out they're all inaccurate. Inaccurate. That's what it is. Okay. Well, now, now the numbers they gave us, we have more uh, uh, death in uh, vehicle accidents. They said here, here in the, I'm talking here in the United States, more than uh, what we claim that Corona got them, you know, see? That's what they said, you know. So that, that part there, it's really hard to believe who's right and who's wrong and why are they trying to broadcast it and why are they trying to put a lot of rules against us, you know? And now they created a vaccination that's controversy. You know, one causes blood clot, J and J, and the other one, <laughs> in later years, they said on the test animals, in later months, none of those animals made it. They all died of liver and kidney and brain damages, they said. But we still went ahead and got it because that's what the White House and the politician wants. Maybe it's to reduce the population. I don't know, you know, what it is. And we should have a doctor talking to us, not a scientist. And if this uh, inf uh, infectious disease that escaped, I thought, and many of my friends think that those are top military, nobody, nothing cannot escape from there, see? And they said, it's a dead virus. And one of my friends, few of my friends said, dead cannot infect nobody. <laughs> dead. That's what they, I was told. Oh, you know. So it's really hard. It's a controversial and it's really hard. And among that, the politicians are using it. Except, especially uh, right here in the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, you know, our so-called educated Indians using it, take advantage to punish our people, to put rules on our people. Especially they put a curfew, CDC guidelines, not more than few people get together. You must be tested. They said that test, you could get it through a saliva. 
when they put it into your nostrils, when they pull it out, some of the, my people said they can they lost the smell, they lost the taste. They said, see. So it did a lot of things here, and then, while well, during that time, none of the uh, 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 politicians here on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, you know, they get a kickback of so many millions of dollars of the corona money and nothing come to the people. Those are supposed to come to the people. You know, it's supposed to come to the people. Because as they said, it's the people are the uh, victims here. So it's supposed to not, you know, they buy a lot of goods, four wheel drives and uh, ATVs and their tra camper trailer houses and many, many other things. They get uh, CDC committees, they get high, Miley stifling pays, you know, out of this, this thing. So not the people, people didn't uh, get nothing out of there, you know, they don't, see? So now that's that right there. Then those of us that are spiritual, Chanupa carriers, medicine men, you know, we're supposed to, those of that, they said they were medicine man, we're supposed to be working with the spirits. And spirits are the most powerful thing between here and the sky. More, more powerful than the, anything in this world, spirits. But yet, they're scared and they put their Sundance away. They put their vision course away. They put the sweat lodge away, you know? So again, the coronavirus that they uh, spread, uh, sent by the government, Put a fear in you so you listen to them more and put your spirituality aside. But the most sacred object we have, the Chanupa, you know, you put those aside. So that means your beliefs in the Chanupa, white buffalo calf pipe, top ceremonies, you really don't believe in them. You know, it has shortened you. <laughs> oh yeah, son, it's good. You know, it made you think. Maybe you get stronger. Maybe the, the leaders, the spiritual leaders, you are out there, teachers, maybe you get stronger. Maybe you could force yourself to go up on a hill I don't get no vaccination and not test it. I'm still here because I believe in my Chanupa and in the spirits, you know. Me and few other ones were like that, you know, and we're here. See this beautiful place all around us? There's no pandemic here, nothing here. Everything is free here, air, everything, you know. What shall I say? I want to bring those up. You know, I want to. I want to go on a radio. But I was told they wouldn't let me talk on the radio because of these things I have said. Because if I do talk like this on the radio, they're gonna cut their fundings down. You know, and when they have a tribal council meeting here, they don't want me to talk like that. Instead, they may. I I believe, and I was told they paid some young people so they could. Uh, put some uh, uh, rumors against me, you know, because I've talked the truth of this way, of what I have known, see? <laughs> but it's okay, it's all right. You know, that's how uh, this uh, tribal council works, you know, that's how they are. Now they have a bigger money. They have a $222 million and they're sitting right there and they're fighting and maybe they're gonna spend it on themselves, I don't know. But one thing I do know for sure is people out here and everywhere that has a tribal number should be entitled at least, not that measly $2,000, it should be more than that, you know? Elected officials are not leaders. They're only representatives and they cannot think for us. They have to do what we want to represent us. Whether 
they like it or not. That's how it is. So these council representatives have no place to think for us. They got to come back to the district level and start talking to the people and do what the people want because it is the people that put them in that office. And I believe that same similar government runs all over. And the tribal president, he has to think hard because he's the guy that has to sit way up there with the most power up there on top. See? He has to think for the people, all these people, because people have faith in him, so that's why they selected him. But the tribal council, representatives, no. You have to listen to the people and do what the people want. See, you're not leaders. Some of you sit home at the couch and collected uh, uh, a Zoom meetings and you collect a whole bunch of money by stifling pays and everything and still doing if you're If you're that scared, surrender your position. Surrender your position and give it to somebody that's brave and willing to help the people. I help my people without stifling, without pay for many, many, many winters now. See? Well, so this is what I want to get out there, you know? And if we have that, you know, American Indian movement leaders are all gone. See, we only have one out there, Clyde Belcour. It's hard to get hold of him. What do we want? But it's time these young people need to stand up for your rights and believe in your rights and believe in yourself. Not turn one against one another, try to stop ceremonies going around. That's what the Tribal Council and the BIA wants. That is why in 1890, we have the Wounded Knee Massacre because that's what they're trying to do. Part of the 7th Cavalry. Oh, hey, now. Oh, so these are the things I want to get out to you and hopefully, you know, you do right. You carry a eagle feather. You carry a chanupa. Take courage and stand up. And if you know what the word mitakuye oyasi, then do it. Don't do it for your own self and glory. That's not the Lakota way. You are a warrior. Stand up. Look what happened at the greasy grass. Grease sea grass and the a little big horn. See? They all stand together. That is why this thing. Oh Hetchetuelo. Oh Lena, I'm gonna that's it. And I hope I you know, get this out, and I hope you understand.